Okay, hi everyone. So I'm going to go over in Photo P in this video um, how to crop and straighten a photograph. Okay. So this is um, kind of step one in image editing. Is um, one of the first things um, you should do is decide do you want to crop and or straighten this image. Um, if you know that right up front, it's good to do it at this point because then you're not editing um, areas that will eventually get cropped out and become meaningless. That we have um, everything within the frame that we want to continue thinking about of how to edit and what the light and the colors look like. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open a file, and I'm going to do that um, my my usual way, which is Command O. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to pick this file for that, and we're going to open. Okay, and on this file, some of the, what I was thinking about is um, I don't like this angle here. Just just try to get it as straight as possible. But this is like a little slopey, and I think it would make it for a stronger image to have this straight across. Okay, so we're going to work on that. I'm just going to okay. If I do Command Plus, that makes my image bigger, so I can zoom in and see some more details, I can do command minus or uh, control minus to bring it back there. Okay. So uh, let's straighten this. So I'm going to go over to my crop tool and I'm going to click on my crop tool. And up in my options bar up here, I have a thing called straighten. Okay, So I'm going to click on that and it says draw a line. So I'm going to draw a line along this coastline about what I want straight. Okay, So if I draw this here, I'm going to start on that line, so I just click. I'm dragging my mouse across here, and I'm gonna just try and see. Well, how, you know, do I want it, you know, straighten that much? Maybe I just I want it like a little angled. So maybe I'll just go there. It doesn't have to be super straight, but let's go there, all right? And I let go of my cursor, and we now have these bounding boxes showing up. And so I could go ahead and crop at this point, but I'm first I want to see what it looks like straight, and if I if I like what I what I did there, okay. Um, so we're going to do that. Now notice over here in my layers panel, I'm on my background layer. Okay? Sometimes it's good to make a duplicate um, layer to work on so that we can always come back to our original. Okay? Um, so I'm going to, for this one I think it's okay, we're going to leave this like this, but we'll start working in layers. So I'm going to hit um, enter or return on my keyboard to say OK or click the little check mark up here and say OK. I like what I did to straighten it. And if you notice, it just angled it up and straightened it across. And I think this looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay. Now let's check out cropping. Um, I'm not sure I want to crop this one, but we can see how to do that. So I'm going to go to crop again. And I'm going to start drawing a box around here. Now, there's different options up here, of course, and I've got free. So I can do a fixed ratio or a fixed size, or I can just do it myself. Okay? Sometimes it's nice to see it as a certain kind of a ratio. So this would be if I want to just crop square, I could, it gave me my square box, and I just need to make it smaller because it came really large here. So I'm just going to put my, cur my cursor in the corner, click down. While I'm holding my, my mouse down, I just drag this down. And now I can see that for a square, um, I could make this a little bit bigger. Let's see what my square would look like. So I'm going to go to the top there. I'm just going to again click, put my, my, uh, my mouse to that corner, click down, hold it down while I drag this. And I go, okay, so this is what I could have for a square. If I wanted to make this a square picture, I could position this anywhere in here to make it a square if that's what I wanted to do. Okay, Or I could make this a certain proportion. So I want to see this as like a four, um, sorry, about a five by four kind of proportion, proportionality. Okay, would look something like that. So again, I can bring this in. So if I'm looking for a certain aspect ratio, this is where I'm going to do that, is under fixed ratio. Okay? Um, you can do fixed size also. Um, this is in uh, pixels. Okay, And this is that ruler that we um, put on there. As you can see, I have that, that ruler, but these are in pixels. So, okay. so I'm going to go back to free. Okay? And here we can just mess with it however we want. 
and bring this in like this. I can bring this one up. I can make whatever shape I want here. My height and my width are not um, locked together. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up into the corner there. And I'm going to bring this back down over here. And I'm just thinking about, you know, maybe I want to crop out that stuff. So whatever, you find your crop. I'm going to go something like that. And I can again um, just say, yeah, okay. Let's crop it. Oh, okay. So I think that's looking a little bit better, cleaner. Okay. I can undo this, Plan Z, and I'm back to where I was, and I can choose a different um, cropping that I want to crop. So step one in editing is straighten. If you need to straighten, crop if you need to crop. Okay. So once I've done that, um, I could continue on. In this case, I'm going to take a. I'm going to stop for a minute. And I'm just going to make sure that I save this file. So I'm going to go over to File. And I want to save this as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. Um, sounds kind of funny being in Photo P, but we're in Photoshop document because you could then open this into Photoshop if you had that capability. And it will preserve um, the layers. Even though I didn't make layers over here, it will preserve all the layers. Okay. Um, that will go to my download folder. I also have the option of exporting as a JPEG, which we'll do eventually. But I think the first thing I want to do here is um, save as a PSD. Okay, so I'm all set there. You saw that bounce on down. All right, so I'm going to close that. We're going to close this file, and I'll see you in the next video.